Welcome to Juicebox. This is a quick tour to show you how to create your own interactive report in our platform. Once you've gotten your free workspace, you can select this button, create new, to make your first report. We have a bunch of templates, individual charts, and examples in here to help you get started. I'm going to pick this report template, which provides a common structure for reports. Here's what it looks like without any data in it. So we'll start with that. Before we add this template to the workspace, there's a few ways you can customize it. We'll start by giving it a name, Superstore, and we can provide a description as well. Then you can pick from our different color schemes. Don't worry, you'll be able to customize this later if you like. And finally, you can pick from a series of different font choices. With that, I'm gonna create the application and it will show up in my workspace. Here we are. Even though there are a bunch of pieces in this template, you'll still need to add your own data. Here's the data set I'm gonna use. It shows customer orders for a store. Each order has a date, a customer, sales amount, a bunch of different metrics. With Juicebox, you can either upload data as an Excel or CSV file, or we have the ability to connect to databases. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to select Upload CSV or Excel. I'm going to select this file and open it. The data is now being uploaded into Juicebox so we can use it for our visualizations. Now that my data is loaded, you can see all the individual columns that can be used for your visualizations. There's also a Replace File option that allows you to update your data or if you need to fix anything in your data. I'm going to close the data drawer and we're gonna look at the area where you can configure and build your report. First, you'll notice at the top, the settings and themes. These are the choices we made earlier in order to configure this report. Those can still be changed at any time. We also automatically add a header. We have a few different options for doing that, or you can have no header at all. Below that is where the action is. We have sections right here. And within those sections, we have slices. Slices are the area where you add text and the visualizations. We can add a new slice at any time by selecting this plus button. So let's get to configuring this report. First, I'm gonna add some key metrics at the top of my report. So I can choose from the different columns that I have in my data and add the things I wanna see as key metrics. Once I'm done, I'll close that and save changes. You'll see on the right that the values show up for those, for those items in my data. Below that, I actually want to choose a selector that will let me configure what I show later in the report. So in this case, I'm gonna select customer names, customer segments, product categories. I'm gonna close that again and save it. There's text already in here from our template, but at any time you can go in here and edit this text and you can also style it in a whole bunch of different ways. Now I've got some key metrics and some selectors. I'm gonna add a trend chart. So I pick from my date options and the measure I'm gonna choose is the measure that I select above. So I choose that, save it. And that's gonna show a trend chart that links to the selections that I make in these key metrics up here. I also wanna show a breakout of my values. And now I get to choose that second selector from above, which is referred to as choice two in here. And the measure I'm gonna use is also the measure that I select above. So now this is a dynamic bar chart that updates based on what I choose up here. So if I choose profit and customer segments, what you'll notice is that the bar chart below here is going to update and show those selections from above. Finally, I'm gonna add a details table. This is a place where I can show all sorts of data. Tables can be downloadable. So if you want your users to be able to download your data at the end of the report, we can add that in there. There's my details. So I can add new slices if I want to adjust this report. I could move pieces around, and I, of course, can add more text to describe what I'm showing. When you're done, 
you can start sharing. You can choose between public sharing, which means people don't need to sign in, or a private sharing, where you get to control exactly who gets access to your report. And there we are. I'm going to publish this app. With that, I hope you'll jump into Juicebox, load some data, build your own report, and share and communicate more effectively.